Greetings, Underlords, and welcome back to War for the Overworld, where we are about to embark on You're our second real progress, mission. Underlord. You'll be back to your old self in no time. Fantastic. Our next target is the Citadel of the Intransigent Dotard, Lord Othelan. He's a dim-witted sort. Don't hold back. Tell us what like you really mean. marching his troops into an early grave. I'd say it's time to learn about <laughs> Yes, I'm looking forward to this part of the uh, series. Traps. Oh, how much fun I had with traps in Dungeon Welcome Keeper. Welcome to the breach, Underlord. This stronghold was built into this chasm to safe keep one of the Empire's inhibitors. Oh, those fools. This trained garrison, it's virtually impervious to attack. What? Fortunately for you... Their commander, Lord O'Thieland, is a vacuous sort who will throw his troops at your dungeon without strategy or order. Fantastic, I, I approve. no better time for you to learn how to build defenses for your dungeon. Uh, neither but can I, as this, it happens. You first need a foundry. Oh, okay. Open the veins of evil and unlock it now. There we are. Foundry. Unlocked. Oh, you sound so happy. Build one now, and your minions will be happy to create defenses for your dungeon. Glorious. Very well. Uh, I need more imps. Now, this is a good time to show you how imps work. When I spawn an imp, it will lock down 50 of my mana. Cost 50, and it locks 50. Um... I think below five, your dungeon heart will automatically summon more. But there we go. That little gold there is telling me that my mana is locked. We're going to get an extra two. Uh, no, an extra three. So we're up to eight imps now. Should make things a little bit faster. Now, we've dug this out to four. No, we want it to be five. What a nice big foundry, I think. Much big, very foundry. Chop, chop. There we go. A foundry. Ah, you glorious. Need an archive and cultists in order to research that artifact. A chunder. I found an artifact. A chunder has entered your dungeon. They've literally got a hammer head. A foundry. This gassy creature will joyfully launch the fetid contents of its stomach to attack. So basically a bile Rubber demon. minions would do well to stay a few steps back. Your workers right will continue to claim territory mindlessly. <gasps> oh. To prevent them from throwing their lives away, cast impasse upon the flashing tile. I will do. Each impasse flag will create a three by three area that your workers will not claim. Use it to keep your expansion in check and your workers alive. Not that we particularly care. Dismiss can. an impasse flag. Simply give it a slap. Very well. You can also click the red impasse icon to dismiss all such flags. Actually, that's You've good to know. discovered a gold shrine. I was wondering when you'd get to this. It My lord, you like to talk almost as much as I do. Wealth for your dungeon. What? Your minions' needs are not being met, Underlord. Build them the basic rooms they require. Okay, where are my Open imps right the now? Of evil and unlock the blade oh, okay. Right, well, first, full, I want this. Of how wealth might change you, you can always untag it with a second click. I, oh, fine, I'll do the things that you want me to do. Right, the Blade Lotus will slice and knock back enemies within melee range. It can be toggled into an inactive mode that keeps it hidden from enemy sight. Locks 15 mana when blade cast. Lotus unlocked. The Blade Lotus is a spinning flower of destruction that tears nearby enemies into shredded flesh. And oh, that sounds good. Them away. Fantastic. Build defenses for your dungeon, you need simply to lay their blueprints upon a claimed tile. Right, your huh? minions will work to craft defense parts within your foundry, which will then ah, be ferried off by your workers to construct them. Okay, Select the there we Blade go. Lotus, Build it upon the flashing tile. So, unlike Keeper RL, where the people in your foundry will just randomly make traps, and then whether those are the traps you want or not, doesn't really matter. 
On here, they will make construction parts. And those are basically universal components that can be used anyway. There we are. Yes, I have. These defenses require a small portion of your mana in order to function. You will regain this locked mana when the defense is destroyed or sold. Many of the defenses you build can be toggled between two distinct modes, each with their own effects. Toggle the blade, Lotus, by clicking it now. You make this task sound so much more epic than it actually is. There we go. You happy now? Lotus can be dropped into a hidden mode, which allows enemies to unknowingly pass over it. The perfect trap for retreating foes. Oh, I like the way now you think. Now click the Blade Lotus again to reactivate it. When What's active, that? the Blade Lotus will carve your enemies down to size. Unless you're fighting those stinking dwarves, who will end up pint-sized. Hmm, I'm right now looking for somewhere that I can... Uh, Set up some food for my minions, which I think is slightly high priority right now. Uh, I could have three by three. Ah, oh, there's so few large sections of of, of uh, tiles that I can use, but I guess this one is going to be the best one that I can go for. Uh, yeah, I guess we could do something here, and then. Well, you know what? We could, instead, have a sort of large hall that has a little bit of everything. It's not exactly the best in the world, but it might do. This can be our inn, and down here can be our micro piglet pen. Now, we are still going to need somewhere for our minions to sleep, though. But thankfully, that doesn't need to be quite as focused in shape. Still, it would be nice if we could make it focused in shape. Um, yeah, you know what? I know this is kind of dangerous for you minions. You know, you're basically going to be sleeping where the enemy's going to attack from, but, well... You don't get much choice, you're minions. There we go. Right, next up. Use the Prophecy spell to scout the area around your dungeon cave. Very well, let's do that. Get a little bit of advanced information. Now, as I mentioned before, my mana isn't regenerating because I've just cast the spell. It will eventually, but for no right now, it's kind of locked down. You don't want your minions to starve. Oh, I kind of do. The slaughter pen. There's a little bit of me that, that would find that funny. If I'm perfectly honest with you. There we go. That'll be my slaughter pen. And then I want a tavern so that my minions keep giving me gold. Glorious. That works well. There we go. They'll just go and eat those things raw for now. That's fine. Right, we do need a bed as well, though. So let's get that made next. Well, we actually need several beds, but, you know. There we go. Okay, we've got another vein of evil. Ah, uh, no, rather, we've got another sin. We've got nothing to do with it, which is unfortunate. Right. Let's go and toggle that back. Due to its small size, the Blade Lotus is most effective in tight corridors. Indeed. For a bit more firepower and range, you should consider the Bombard. Can I unlock this that? Oh, you've just given it to me. Very well. Iron balls at any foe that oh, oh fantastic. Close, flaming balls? Their bodies into broken vessels of blooded mash. Oh, this sounds the fantastic, bombard, honestly. And build it upon one of the flashing tiles to the east of your dungeon. Uh, We'll place it there and then get rid of that so that we can still walk around it. So it's got a clear sight of anything that is trying to get past the Blade Lotus. We'll try and set up a trap synergy. Ooh, right. What was that artifact? 
Artifact of Joy improves the mood of your minions while drastically reducing their need to sleep or eat. Sounds remarkably good. I must say. Alright, this is probably the edge of the map. Yeah. Bombard complete. Fantastic. The bombard can be placed into overdrive mode by what? clicking it, which will increase the speed I didn't know that. it fires. However, each attack while in overdrive will damage the defense. Oh, that's quite cool. Now that you have some offense, you should wall off your dungeon core to prevent your enemies from sneaking ah, in and doors. We all know how much I love doors. On the flashing tile. Which one? Oh. That's not good enough. I need many more doors than that. For a short time. However, it can also be used to prevent your minions from wandering into haunted corridors or private baths. A wooden door can be toggled open and closed with a click. While closed, no minions may pass through unless the door is opened, destroyed, or sold. Very well. Defense complete. You've caught on quick, Underlord. I am going to make this now put a treasure room. Now new talents to work. There's no doubt that the insipid Lord will soon learn of your presence and send his troops forth to die by your hand. I like the fact that so many In of the these meantime, corridors are literally stone. To protect your dungeon, it's a very easy to protect. You desire to diversify your army and improve your chances of survival. I do like to survive, complete. it's true. You do not have enough gold what? to do that. Lies! I'm good for it, you know. Ah, my lord. Right, okay, there we go. Right, I am going to be making this into a treasure room. Just as soon as I've, you know, mined all Wouldn't of the other gold. Complete. Uh, I guess we could expand that down there. If we particularly want to. The kind of text that turns your eyes to cherries. Also, I wouldn't mind going up here. We'll have a... An actual door right there. Wooden door complete. Fantastic. I approve enormously of the amount of wooden doors that are being completed right now. Also, so you don't have to run quite so far, have a treasure room. Makes the most sense to place this where the treasure is being mined. Constantly. Gloriously. More doors. Uh, anywhere else that I can fit a door? I think we have all Stumpy of our doors. Legs. Odious tempers. Gods, do I hate dwarfs. Defense complete. There we are. We could have some more room for our minions to study, but thinking about it, there's one thing that we don't have. And that would be training room. Uh, hmm. Let's find a nice big area if we've got one. This looks like it might work. Wooden door complete. Uh, wait, that's actually where we've got our defenses, so probably best not. How about up here? No. This evil presence shall not stand up to my Evil? Light. What? Rally straight forth to assault them, men. No, don't. How terribly kind of the nitwit to Oh, I mean, do apparently. Prepare to defend the center line, Underlord. The center line, eh? Very well. Ah, that just so happens to be where I've got my traps. Fantastic, I say. In fact, I could even have traps there to uh, further assault any stupid heroes. Um. Kind of like that idea, but we'll just see how it goes. Oh, you scallywags. Right, I need to tell my imps not to uh, go any further than this. Has been breached. There we go. They do go up there. I don't want them doing anything else. Right, come on. Let's see how this goes. Fantastic. Ah, oh, glorious. Spiky goodness. Also cannons. Cannon goodness. Uh, I think having maybe another one here and there would be a good idea. Let's go ahead and set that up. 
It'll take a little while for them to do it, but be worth getting it done. Right, we're going to have to set up multiple of these training areas, I fa fancy. There we go. Uh, would we be able to fit any here? Not so easily. That looks like somewhere where we're going to be attacked from, so... Let's get a door down here. Then set up much the same as we had. Uh, they're probably going to come through there, so if we push some of this back, we could probably have a couple of weapons set up there. Yes, looks like they'll be coming straight through there, so with that in mind, we'll have a gun there Wooden and another cannon there. Complete. I think that'll be the best setup for us. How did that do? Did well, actually. Fantastic. Now, where else can they get in? I imagine they're going to be able to get in from that direction, too. Which means we're going to need some sort of defense down here. Oh, it seems to split up there. Uh, actually, we'll go straight down there. And we'll try and hook up to this. But this looks like the next area we're going to have to defend. they're all dead? This threat is more serious than I thought. Give me a minute. I shall prepare a new plan of attack to thwart this devil. Defense. Devil? Please. What? Oh, I'm going to be glad when you're dead. Uh, right, we'll have a gun there as well. I'm hoping that... In fact, these three might be able to attack. I'm not sure if that one will be able to, though. But we'll see. All the same, it'll be awesome. And there we go. People are training. Good times to be had by all. We, oh my lord, look at all the gold! Oh, glorious. from the north and the center simultaneously. That should bamboozle this unholy menace. You know, I am actually getting a little... A little, a little amused with, with your, your way of talking. But uh, unfortunately, this is not being set up fast enough. Not nearly fast enough. I need that blade load to stun right now. I need that blade load to stun more than anything else. Oh my goodness. Have we got blocks? I believe I can do this myself. There we go. Oh, ha, ha, ha. just in time. Ye guys, I was close. Wow. What? You got through? Scallywaggery, I say. How did you manage to do that? Cheat hacks. Oh dear. Right, well, if you're going to be like that, I'll just have to deal with you myself. Alright, there we go. Okay, well, again, I would like to tell my imps not to go. Ooh, okay, can't see it. Let's uh, get that going. Imps, don't go further than this. Also, don't go any further than this. There's an artifact over there. Kind of want it. We could put a door there. They've all been bested? Okay, hold on. Indeed hold on. they have. Right, we need to gather more area, actually. Right, let's uh, actually make a couple more imps. Okay, that's good. That's a dead end. I'm very pleased to find that out. This looks like the best place to uh, defend from there. So again, set up a bunch of traps. We're going to have to see where this goes. And make sure our They'll imps don't go any further. This trick. Assault the center and the south. Ah, They'll scallywaggery. I did, but I just dust. wasn't fast enough. Used a few firm lashes as a child. Uh, I agree. Nothing builds character like a few firm lashes. I don't actually agree, by the way, but... For the sake of being an evil keeper, I guess I do. Alright, well, that one is fine. This one is most certainly not. So, we need all of our minions down here to deal with these guys. Leave my imps alone, you scallywag! 
No! Stupid imp, run away! There we go, we've actually got some of my combatants in now. Can I take you out? I'll go for the level ones. Ooh, my lord, some sort of giant knight. That looks frightening. But there we go. Fantastic. Get in there. Wonderful. Right. We don't need that. You can go back. Is that them vomiting on the enemies? Fantastic. Oh, it is. It's absolutely chock-a-block with good stuff. We need to find out where this goes. So I don't want any surprises. Hmm. This speaks to me of surprises. Uh, okay, that's not too bad. We've got some good choke points there that I can use. Let's get up there. That one specifically. So we'll have a blade lotus there. Maybe a gun there, gun there. Hmm. Actually, maybe not there. Uh, we could have instead the trap. Yeah, we'll we'll have the uh, defense right by there. We'll dig our way up just for the sake of it. But let's get a no expansion area here. Be along what? I I don't agree with this. I think the elves should stay wherever they are. Ooh. Right, what have we got? We're researching that one. You know what? I'm just going to use the joy artifact. That way this artifact can be brought down and we can start researching it. But there we go. We've got everything we need. Let's get a blade lotus By right the light, there. Have none of you had any training at all? And then three cannons. But again, they're going to attack in 25 seconds. I am going to speed this up by building it myself. The Blade Lotus is the main thing. Blade Lotus there we go. complete. And there we go. An extra uh, one extra cannon. Not too bad. I would have tried to uh hold them off further back, but I really like Certainly, being able to have the uh we'll choke points like this. I mean I guess I don't have Oh no, I did have one there as well. This assault. Ah, inconceivable. I do not think it means what you think it means. Right, we're going to have another Blade Lotus down here. Right there. Then, a couple of cannons to deal with anything. Ha-ha! Too late now! Ah, oh, traps. How I have missed thee. Does this one also get to fire? Yes, it does. Fantastic. You know what? I think I will actually have a gun there as well. Glorious. Now, is this full? Yes, it is full. It's full of micro piglets. Good times. Everyone is happy. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, I could generate a large sum of gold in my coffers, but I'm not going to. Let's uh, instead use a level up artifact. Everyone is leveled up. Ah, glorious. Bombard complete. We want more training, though. Where can I fit in some more training? We can fit in some more training down here. So let's do that. Your minions are in combat. Your minions are under attack. What? Really? They got through! You scallywags, you! You broke my defenses! How dare you? Complete. On the plus side, there's no way they're getting through anything else simply because there's doors everywhere, but still, that's just rude. Except there's no door there. Now there is, though. Your we are safe. Are being attacked. Okay, have we cut this area out? Yes, we have. Fantastic. Right, let's get some more training area for them. Your minions are in combat. Wooden door complete. Your minions are under uh, attack. Where are my minions under attack, exactly? Wow, really? All the way back here? Oh, you've killed them, good. Right, what have we got? Loads of money. Well, we really don't need it. 
In fact, you know what? Just stop mining on that for now. <laughs> I've had you mining there for ages. There's loads of gold. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have forgotten about that. Silly me. Get out there, fortify walls, gather artifacts, all the good stuff. Uh, we could have another room up here, actually, I imagine. What a marvelous meat grinder you've constructed, Underlord. I've got a meat grinder? Or are you just referring to my crabs as... Ah, uh, I, see, I see what you did. Damn it, you got my hopes up then! I could, don't just say things like that and then it, allow it to be false. You scallywag. Uh, what else are we going to set up? We could have some more blade lotuses up here, but I don't think we really need to. From all sides, swiftly, whilst the minions of Ethel recover. This assault may actually test your abilities, Underlord. Nice. Do try and learn. Can something. I not get that? Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm probably going to have to help out with this one. Or build more cannons. I think we'll go with the build more cannons route, honestly. There we go. And let's drop a little bit of uh, lightning down there. Whilst I've got the mana to do it. Scallywaggery. How are we doing over there? Okay, well, let me just help repair that defense a little bit. Did that repair it at all? It does not appear that it has. Oh, well, drat. Please don't be broken. Ah, oh, damn it, it is broken. Okay, everyone down there, please. Bombard complete. Okay, we seem to have done reasonably well. Could be a little bit better, but... We've got very high level minions at this point. I think at level 5 they gain an ability. Or at least some of them do. There we go. Right, you can go back now. You know what? At this point, I am tempted to allow you to just start claiming these areas. Lotus complete. I think if we just start to uh, capture a few of these areas, might be worth it. Now, what else is going to happen? Let's have a quick look around here. Ah, oh, really? Too many traps, I guess. But what I would like to do is find out exactly where, what we've got to do next. Where are we going to get attacked from? Is it just going to be this? Have we got to wait until they say that I can attack? I don't know. This is the question. Come on, 250 mana. I need to know about my enemies. Oh, wow, there are lots of them in there. Not sure I wanted to know that. A lot of gold, though. Those loyal to the Empire, come to me. I will tell you the tale they will sing of us when we have finished here. Oh, They'll you're going to attack now? Bravery and those who have fallen. They will regale the noble way in which we fought and won. Oh, they I think you're vastly underestimating the amount of traps I've got. Savior of the Empire. Now, if you are with me, cheer with me. Make sure you keep your dungeon secure, Underlord. You there, lead the charge from the north. And you, yes, lead the southern assault. We shall attack in two waves. I will lead the second from the rear, so I may issue orders more easily. <laughs> oh, of course, charge! yes. Oh, I didn't need to hear that just then. My head is now throbbing. You scallywag, you. Bombard complete. Really? Can I not? You have insufficient mana to cast that spell. Oh, Charge there's a limit on it. Your comrades. Okay, well, experience has taught us that this is the place we are going to need the flag. Fire all of the cannons! In fact, fire all of the cannons! Higher fire rate for all cannons! 
And you are doing a terrible job. You guys aren't doing too bad with that. There we go. I have to keep an eye on them though, because they will eventually break. Who you get? Oh, they turn off when they get low enough. Ah, that's pretty cool. That's very cool, in fact. And then they get repaired all the time. Fantastic. I like it. Your minions are being attacked. Where's Lord of Zealand? Your minions are under attack. It is payday. I didn't realize they self-repaired. That's actually rather awesome. There's almost no reason not to have these turned on unless they're in a very, very uh, difficult area. Okay, well, while all of that's going on, I'm going to take the fight to the enemy. Get out there. Let's break our way through this area. Do as much damage as you can, please. They're all fairly high level at this point. Oh, fantastic. That door stood no chance. Your minions are being attacked. Glorious. I mean... It's good that they're in combat. I mean, I, well, yeah, it's kind of glorious they're being attacked as well. I'm paying you to get attacked, so, you know, it's about time you did some bloody work. Destroy all of these traps, and then I can let my imps come up here. There we go. All the doors, please, as well. Smack that door apart. Some of your creatures have joined a cult. Oh, fantastic. Well done. I approve of this initiative. Okay, we don't want to claim any tiles that far out, but all the rest of these flags can go away now. Imps, get out there, do work. Also, you probably need to die. Did, did I do it? No. No, you did not. Now that he sent his entire army to their death, you shall have no trouble killing him. Ah, oh, fantastic. Now I can actually attack. Go, go, go. Good times. He's still got quite a lot of army, though. Minions are in combat. My goodness. Can you break these traps first? You know, let's be thorough now. There we go. And then this one. I won't have them saying that we don't do a thorough job. When we decide to conquer a realm, we do it properly. No, don't break that door yet. Let's, let's kill everything else first. Make sure there are no enemies behind us. Fantastic. It looks like my minions are actually having quite a fun time. I'm pleased by this. Are my imps gathering everything yet? No? Oh, that's a little bit depressing. Can they not... Oh, sacred ground. Oh. That is unsatisfactory. I strongly suspect if the game hadn't been holding me back just to teach me about traps, we could have easily just walked in here ages ago. No, 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 come back. Also you guys. No escape. Time to die. All of you. There we go. Nothing quite like shanking a priestess in the back while she's running for some food. Down here, please. My lord. Really, I should just be able to say, go here, kill everything. But no, I've got a micromanager. It's hard work being a dungeon lord. It's never as easy as they, they make it sound in the brochures. There we go. He's going to try and scarf us, so just get in there and slay everything. 
There we are. Right, now you can go and kill Lord Othiland. And his inhibitor. But we're not going to be able to bring any spells to bear, which is a little bit sad. On the plus side, our uh, base, you know, doing quite well for itself. We've got a stupid amount of gold. More gold than we could ever want. You know what, Imps, you've got nothing else to do. Give me more gold. My lord, you're still working on it? More, more artifact gold, please. There we go. Anything else we need to do? I really don't think that is. I think I think we're good. Fantastic times. Wow, is Lord of Thieland? Oh no, there he is. I was about to say, did he go down that fast? I believe the outer ring of petals is basically a shield. So that he's not taking any health damage yet. That's just shielding. He will be taking health damage in just a moment, though. Got an entire army of creatures there. Glorious. That's right. Level up by killing people. There we go. I don't know. His random waffling was kind of growing on me towards the end. Superbly executed. Fantastic. I must warn you. The next inhibitor comes with an unpleasant surprise. What? Fine work, Underlord. Now that Othelan and his cronies are a dehydrated paste, let's move on with our assault and destroy the final inhibitor. Indeed, let's. But that's going to have to wait for the next episode. This was already run a fair bit over time, but I'm going to keep it as one episode until... Uh, if they start getting towards an hour length, then I'll start splitting them up. But uh, 40 minutes, I guess we'll allow that one to pass for now. But I do hope you've enjoyed this episode and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.